Bonjour, ça va? Nous sommes en Montréal maintenant. Bonjour. <laughs> Welcome to our first day in Montreal. We got here last night, did a little bit of a drive, which took longer than expected because of traffic, but we finally made it here. We just had a little bit of brunch. We are at Le Vieux Vélo. Funny enough, Julia actually been to this place before, so have I. Shout out to the homies. Um, she's getting some breakfast. And we're going to meet my friend Lilica later for some vegan food. So right now we're just going to check out some vintage stores. I'm trying to find the ones that I went to last time that we were here. So, see you there. We have made it to Montreal. And yeah, give you guys a little view. So basically, it's the mountain that's in the middle of Montreal. What it's named after. I've actually never been up here, so we decided to hike up here, walk up a set of stairs, and have a look at the view. Um, Chill. Mm -hmm. It's really nice up here. It's a great view of the city. Julia's ogling over a rat baby raccoon. <gasps> look at it. It's, like a, it's like a cat dog. It's like a dog. <laughs> Sorry, zoom, so zoomed in. But like, with a cat, it's like a cat dog. It's like a cuter cat on a dog's body. Mm. There he is, the little rascal. You would never believe they're so vicious. So, we are currently in Old Port. Just went to the new Essence store. It's definitely got Dover Street Market vibes, but not as cool as Dover Street Market. Um, now we're just walking, trying to find some food. Um, yeah, Old Port's beautiful. It's really busy right now. We're just, it's like a, the street's entirely shut down. It took us hours to find parking. talk about that because we had a quite terrible experience but before we head home we thought we'd just check it out just grab some bubble tea for us tonight and yeah I think we're just gonna walk down the strip be around my people got some dragon beard candy traditional Chinese candy for those who know you know and let's go It is Friday and day one of the festival. Mm -hmm. We just went and picked up our metro card because we're going to be subwaying the rest of the week. Okay. And um, but yeah, so we're heading to the festival today. Tomorrow we're not, but then we're back at the festival on Sunday. Today is supposed to be Travis Scott, Ray Schremer, who else? Uh, Machine Drum, mm -hmm. Tori Moi, and No Such Thing as Laugh Track, which I've never heard of them as, but they're like both artists as separate entities. Um, I think that's it. Ray Schremer, there's like, I think Killy and like Nav, like some Toronto artists, which is pretty cool because they're like pretty late in the day as well. And yeah, about to go get some food from Dinette Triple Crown. It's supposed to be this really cute spot where you can get fried chicken and they pack it in a little picnic basket for you. And you can eat it in the park, which is sweet. So we'll do that and you'll see us there. Yeah, shout out to my friend Lilka for recommending that place, by the way. Always on the case. So we mentioned we were going to net Triple Crown. If you watch any of our previous vlogs, like the time we tried to go to that Japanese pancake cafe, of course today is the one day that they decide to be closed. So, on to something else. So, we made it to Faberge, one of my favorite spots here in Montreal. They just do brunch, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we're here because Triple Crown is closed and 
I mean, our luck is finally looking up for once because they closed five minutes after we got here, or the kitchen closed, so we got here just in the nick of time. But just grabbing a quick bite, and then we're heading to the fast food. There's the spread. Got some fried chicken there, waffles, sausage, and French toast. Bon appétit. Saturday and we're not going to the festival today luckily though because it's actually raining but um, we are headed to another restaurant that was recommended by my friend Lilica foie gras and they have a little brunch special that they do on the weekend so we're hoping to check that out the menu looks pretty tasty um, we're gonna brave it out and not drive even though it's raining and we have no umbrella yeah I don't even have long sleeves so we'll see how this goes Mm -hmm. And I think we're gonna just do some vintage shopping after that, so I'll keep you updated. So we went to Foie Gras. It's actually open, um, but there's just a bit of a wait, which is a good sign. So we stumbled upon this little market here, and yeah, we're just gonna chill out here till we till Foie Gras is open. to this one before I definitely remember buying a pair of shorts here the last time but yeah Montreal shopping or vintage shopping in Montreal is kind of nah, haven't found anything amazing yet on to the next yeah, we're at Empire Exchange there's a couple locations around here but this is the one that's still open because apparently everything closes at 6 on Saturday in Montreal so earlier we just finished some vintage shopping, pretty much everything closed at like 5 or 6 so we couldn't really get too much in but we just went home, chilled for a bit and now we're having a late dinner at Chiao which one of Julian's friends works at I think. Um, they just opened, supposed to be really good dim sum so I'm gonna check it out and then go to our friend Sam's housewarming party. He just moved to Montreal from Toronto so I'm excited to see him. Morning, good afternoon. Sunday, final day of the festival. Second last day in Montreal. And we are headed to Triple Crown again because they're actually supposed to be open this time. So we're gonna have a cute picnic in the park before we head to the festival. We are trying to get there relatively early today because the neighborhood's playing, which I'm excited about. And who else are we seeing today? Blood Orange, which I'm really mm -hmm. stoked about. But yeah. And Brockhampton as Brockhampton. well. Brockhampton. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we will see you guys there. By the way, Jiao Dim Sum Bar was great last night. We forgot to vlog out. Mm -hmm. If you're ever in Montreal, check it out. It's brand new. It's like a cool little snack bar. Apparently they've been missing something like that in Montreal, especially in Old Port. So it's a nice place to get your pre-drink on, get a nice little meal in before you go out. 
Yeah, we didn't vlog out last night because we just hung out at our good friend Sam's housewarming party. Um, it was a nice little like send off. We saw him right before we left. He just moved here from Toronto, so we saw him a bit then. But yeah, it was nice to see him settled into his place. It was super cute. So, see you in a bit.